Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aries. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. 9th to the 15th of September 2024. Message for Aries. Thank you. The world reversed. Crossing that, we have judgment. Could well be something hangs in the balance here. Let's see what we have. The five of wands, conflict. Inner conflict, potentially, can be external conflict as well. The page of cups. The lovers, it's a powerful union energy, but these two people are at some kind of crossroads. Can be union in terms of love romance, can be things like partnerships of other kind, money, career, finances, or you know, however that would manifest for you. Generally quite two people who fit together really well, but you're at some kind of crossroads here. This is either about whatever this relationship is or partnership, or something that affects it. Immediate future, we have the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security. Bottom two cards, we have the Page of Wands. And we have the Hermit. Let's see what we have for you in the cards. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Angel Spirits Guide, message for Aries. We have Navigating by the Stars, Follow Your Bliss, Follow your bliss. Do what makes you happy. Sometimes we have to surrender and trust. What do we have for Aries? Message for Aries. This is your crystal angel message. We have fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. So Aries, the, the lovers is a choice in the immediate past. You're at some kind of significant crossroads. Let's get an idea of what that is. What do we have for Aries, the lovers? Okay. The Nine of Swords has come out reversed as an opportunity to release from stress, worry and anxiety and likely move forward, put troubles behind you and move forward, move away from that. I mean, this can actually be about, there's a choice and it might well be, there is an opportunity here to release from some kind of stressful situation here <clears throat> that might no longer serve you. The Nine of Swords can be when we feel like it's sometimes too much, you know, stress, anxiety, um, sleepless nights, uh, 
our thoughts going round and round in our head and become magnified as we do. But it feels like there's an opportunity to release from that. As some of you, it could be a stress situation here. Because there's just such a calming energy with this. I know if I move forward in this direction, you know, it's healthier for me or it might be better for me or I can I can release from all the kind of like turbulence or troubles or difficulties or mental pressures even. But there's a choice in terms of how you do that. Six of Swords can be about moving on from A to B. Um, moving away from troubles, difficulties, can be mental pressures as well with the Nine of Swords. Um, and the boat becomes more and more steady, you know, as you move forward to calmer, sh calmer waters, um, calmer shores, you know, this is the energy here. So this is about heading in the right direction, releasing from some kind of stressful situation, but there's a choice here. And it's about being true to you. It's like somebody has been resisting an ending, you know? The world card reversed is something isn't done yet, something isn't over yet. Someone has been resisting to complete one phase of their life and, and step through to a brand new phase of your life. It requires some significant judgment call here. It might well be for some of you here, Aries. Again, the Page of Cups is a, is a message. It can be a message from the heart. Um, but it, it feels it's to do with some kind of significant conflict. Probably not feeling on the same page as the other person. Or again, the Five of Wands, the additional message with the Five of Wands in a conflict. Or you're dealing with a group of people um, that you're at odds with that it can be drama, fallout, sometimes one-upmanship, you know, everyone's in it for themselves, you know, everybody with the five of wands is, is wanting to get ahead, certainly in terms of a business thing, I see the ten of pentacles here, you know, uh, it's quite a competitive energy, and it can be drama, conflict, bitchiness, fallouts, you know, could be with a group of, of people or an environment that you're you're in as well. I think that there is some kind of significant decision here. Whether you stay on the path that you're on or you make some significant change. And likely there is that feeling here. You already know what how to how to remedy the situation. There is that sense of, but I, I don't know if I'm ready to complete this phase of my life, you know? I don't know if I'm ready to step through to a brand new phase of my life. This is what I'm seeing here. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security, financial wealth abundance, some of you it could well be retirement. Um, it might be time to retire or semi-retire, you know? The Hierophant and the Page of Wands, it can be about starting on a brand new path full of possibility and potential. For others of you, this can actually be about long-term stability and security. Moving into greater long-term stability and security. It could be letting go of your business that's not, fair, that's, that's not doing well for some of you and moving away from stress and turbulence to do with that. For some of you, it could be a work environment where there's an opportunity to move forward down a new path. This is the authentic energy with the hermit. Let experience be your guide in terms of how in truth you now need to move forward here. This is about shining the lamp within. We already know the answer inside. If we reflect on what's led to this point and how we in truth need to move forward. But it can be a very healthy energy as well, the hermit. It could be for your own health and well-being. It could be for health reasons as well. You need to make some changes and that could be why there's a conflict here. Because somebody who cares about you might be saying, you need to kind of like move on from that place because it's no good for you and move to this either this new direction. Um, whether it's a new job that's better for you, whether it's even, I mean, even whether there's flexibility in terms of hours and how you work um, would be healthy kind of like changes as well. 
you know, for those of you, it could well be to get maybe either a stable job or a more stable job if a business isn't doing well. For others of you, this could actually be retirement. And again, sometimes that can be for health reasons. Sometimes in truth, we just kind of say to ourselves, you know, it's it's not worth it. It's time to kind of like move on from this for, my, for it to bring healthy change, you know. However that manifests for you. But this is a lovely energy here with the, the Page of Wands. This is an exciting new beginning full of possibility and adventure. It looks like there's a new adventure <laughs> coming in here. It's an exciting new adventure. It's, it's that sense of a, a new journey has the potential to begin here. There's also a message actually with the Ten of Pentacles and these energies. I can finally start doing, following a passion of mine, whether it's, again, that could be a work thing. It could be a passion of yours and embark on a new journey that you've never had time to do before. Again, that could be linked to, with retirement energy. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you for the week. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aries? Message for Aries. Message from Spirit. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family friends and guides. You never walk alone as we walk right beside you. We have choices. But you see, we can see on that picture there is one door that's open. Could be a clear choice here. We have, when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Aries, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, I'm sorry, I've just got to just literally seen here. You can see the hermit is about shining the lamp from within. But source also illuminates the hermit in that moment as well. And we sometimes need to take time to reflect, some alone time, some solitary time with the hermit as well. Um, so it might well be that's the advice for you as well. But you can see in the lamp, there's the star. You know, and this is this is really kind of like being illuminated in terms of how in truth you need to move forward on your path letting wisdom be your guide you know and we have that sense of sometimes we just have to surrender and trust you know again navigating by the stars so a lot of kind of wisdom leading to somewhere beautiful here maybe making a wise choice here aries that's what i have for you for the week ahead i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.